Okay. I was merely a pawn in the. So now let's. Uh, why don't uh, Priya? Why don't you come over here and take this chair? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Careful with the wires. Just have a seat. Whoops. Okay, Priya. Oh, great. Oh, I'm getting ready. <laughs> Now, I'm here, too, but I'm a little off-camera. Here's Priya has joined oh, us. Now, Priya, okay. Yeah, there's camera. Priya uh, is, yeah. has been on the show before, and she's been following very closely, Brad. Well, now, you spoke at uh, several of these shows that we've discussed and watched clips <coughs> from tonight. Just and the Donut Social. The Donut <laughs> Social you spoke at. And could you tell us uh, a little bit about what you spoke about? We don't have a lot of time, but I know it's coming up to the second anniversary of Brad Will's murder in Mexico, and we've talked about that a lot here on this program. Uh, yeah, so Brad Will was killed in Oaxaca, Mexico in, um, Oct on October 27, 2006, and um, he was a squatter, too, uh, in the Lower East Side, and, and uh, he's played at Sea Squad a few times. I was um, friends with him. And Sturgeon was friends with him, and um, Brad was, you know, into fighting police brutality as well as for other things, and um, housing rights, and the right to not be treated like, you know, uh, the police treat people, which is like subhumans or animals or something. Um, and <clears throat> you know, um, he was uh, shot by a police sniper, undercover sniper in Oaxaca, Mexico, while he was filming a protest. You know, this popular uprising. And so, the issue of police violence uh, really needs to be confronted. Um, it's a, it's a global and local problem. Um, I, I really appreciate the defiant spirit of the music that we've been hearing because uh, passion is a really important part of resisting this terror, uh, the anal fascist state terror that uh, is unfortunately a, a part of our lives and um, uh, just, uh, just there's this idea of revolutionary violence like um, Rick Franz Fanon wrote in The Wretched of the Earth, just the idea that uh, resisting that fascist violence is 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 uh, necessary, you know, like by any means necessary, and um, actually not resisting it is a violent act because you allow this brutality to happen and that destruction of life, uh, and so and so uh, violent resistance is actually uh, possibly life affirming, and so that's just a concept I, I thought I'd mention, and um, yeah, we miss Brad very much, and that's a loss that. You know, it's irreplaceable. Um, but how he lived is, is uh, very much something that you want to remember uh, because, you know. Is there any information you can give us on how the investigation into uh, his death has gone? And in just a minute, can you tell us if anybody's been arrested or prosecuted or? Well, anything? the whole pro problem is the police can do whatever they want and get away with it. There's no accountability or um, justice, you know. And um, yeah, we have a pretty good idea of who these like paramilitary death squad people are. And uh, but like um, we're not really expecting much justice and, or accountability in terms of the Mexican court system, you know. But it's definitely not over. And um, yeah, I, f I feel like we've lost too many good people, and and maybe it's time to even out and settle the score a little bit, you know, because. Uh, resisting tyranny by any means necessary is, is a really important thing and it's really inspiring to see people um, have that spirit and express it. I wish I could borrow your brain sometimes so when I'm on stage <laughs> and say what you just said because that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. But um, I just yeah, well, can't always just God. get it out in words, that's why I write yeah. songs about it. And I'm really honored yeah. to be in the presence of, uh, you know, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's bad. <laughs> you're such, you're such a great speaker, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. one of the point you it put it proved it perfectly uh, at the the rally that day um, on Second Avenue or First Avenue, Fifth, Fifth Street. Um, when you spoke into the microphone, people couldn't hear you in the back, which is the whole point. Like they're saying, by by doing this new decibel law, like they're not taking away our freedom of speech if they they let you perform, but by making it completely inaudible. Like, if, if they don't like what you say, they're going to make it inaudible. So they're not really taking it away, but they're making it inaudible. No, they are taking it away. Yeah, That's exactly are. what they're doing. So jerking and that's why I was fighting it. freedom of speech yes. is, is not freedom of speech, right? But it, we found Your that... speech if isn't free if it is not audible. So we found right. if, we, if we screamed, uh, not into the microphones, just out in the crowd, people can hear us better than someone like her who's even more well-spoken than any of us. Oh, well, and you know I mean. speaking into the mics, which is one of the points we were trying to bring together. out about the park show. I definitely would say that I, I became a lot more theatrical due to the fact that I was completely inaudible by the crowd. So I did a lot of gestures towards the police <laughs> and whatnot that 
I might not have done if I was just heard, if I could have just been heard by everybody, and including really, the police. <laughs> and what, what they're saying is the problem is people on 7th Street are complaining because of the noise and they have to start cracking down, but like, you know, they were the ones that tore down the band shell. If the band shell was there, like, it, it wouldn't, you know, go back. And the other, the other thing is just like with CBGB's closing, other places closing, the whole, all the culture of the neighborhood getting pushed out. And now these people that like you know are living in these apartments. All right, thank you guys. We oh, gotta go. And by the way, free free speech in yeah. the First Amendment because it's the most important you know what one. Here, he's cutting me off. <laughs>